Today what we're going to do is look at creating a post and look at creating pages. To create a post, you click on posts or you can just click on the new post button or you can click on the little pencil at the top of your page, on the dashboard. Any of these will work. If I go into the post section here and there are no posts, I can click create a post to start writing. Again, you could use the pencil or just the new post button. There's two different views, Compose and HTML. HTML is where you'll embed any code that you want to add to your blog for videos, slideshows, etc. Most of us will be working in the Compose section. Your, you've got a WYSIWYG editor at the top here. It's very easy to figure out. It's not any different than any other editor that you're used to. Um, notice that the options that are available. When typing your blog post, um, you can add links to it, you can embed media, you can upload pictures. Let's just do a quick um, intro. And if I wanted to link um, some information, for example, I could very easily just select the writing I want to link to, click the link button, and paste the URL or the email address, depending on what I'm trying to link to, into the text box and click save. The open in new window option is a good one to click on. That way your readers, when clicking on the link, are not taken away from your blog, but another window will open to the link that you have added to the blog post. You can also upload images um, from your blog, from your Picasso web, web albums, from your phone, from your webcam, or from a URL and that's pretty straightforward. You can do some basic editing here. Make subheadings and headings. Highlight. Add a video from YouTube, your phone, your webcam. Upload it from your computer by dragging or choosing. Place a line in a page break. Center, align your, align your text in different ways, add bullets. One thing I do want to show you right now though is labels. Labels are important. They work as tags. They help people to search for information within your blog, um, either on your blog or on the web. With the blogger you need to separate any labels you add in by, com by commas. You want to make sure that these are terms or words that apply directly to what is in your blog post. When you've got your labels entered in, you just click Done. You can preview your blog if you want to. Your blog post. There we go. You go back to your blog and you have an option of saving it without publishing it or publishing it. If you publish it, people it will be visible to everybody who 